are the basics of the Soundtrap Studio to help you get started with your creating. Let's start with two great Soundtrap features, the loops and the collaboration tab. There's a lot of creative loops to choose from, both audio and MIDI loops. You can sort them by genre, beats, or other instruments. And if you ever feel lonely in the studio, you can invite friends to the project and create something together. These two magnifying glasses let you zoom in and out. Here's the scroll that helps you get a nice overlook of what you've done so far. The record, stop, rewind, play, and fast forward buttons are found right here. Here's a tip. To play, hit the space bar. I will never give up my fight and I will always... To stop, press the space bar again. To go back to the beginning, press enter. These are the tempo and key adjusters. If you want to speed up your project, change the number in the box to a higher one, or choose a lower number if you want to slow it down. If you want to set the key of your project, do it right here. Here's the metronome that helps you stick to the tempo while playing. I will never give up my fight, I will you can change the volume and the sound of the metronome. To change the volume of an individual track, use this control. If you want to listen to one track only, click the solo button. If you want to mute a track, here's the mute button. If you want to make automations on your track, here's the automation button. If you regret making a change, press the undo button. When you're done, don't forget to press save. These are the basics of the Soundtrap Studio. More details will be covered later in the video. Way to create or improve a song is to use the Soundtrap loops. Search for loops by instrument or genre, find one that you like, and add it to your project by double-clicking or dragging it into the studio. Click the heart symbol to add a loop to your favorites. You can adjust the loops after major or minor scale, and loops without a set key will automatically adjust to the rest of the project. If you're not satisfied with the key or tempo, you can always change it afterwards. The loops will adjust after the new changes. You only need your computer keyboard. If you want to, you can also connect your own keyboard by clicking Settings, MIDI Settings, and then choose Device. To use the piano on Soundtrap, all you need to do is add new track, and choose Piano and Keyboards or Synthesizer. You can choose from many effects and make it sound like you're playing on a grand piano, even though you're on your computer. Made a mistake recording. You can edit the recording in the piano roll. Here you'll see all of the notes that has been recorded. You can change the length and place of a note and even quantize them. Quantizing makes sure that every note is in time. Easy peasy. Vocals to your project, here's how you set everything up. Add a new track and choose voice and microphones. Choose sound setup. We strongly recommend you to use headphones while recording to avoid getting an acoustic feedback. Now you can choose a microphone, either the inbuilt microphone on your computer or an external mic if you have one connected. During the sound check, you'll be asked to sing as loud as you can and then it will ask you to stay silent while checking the background noise. Oh. Click the record enable button before you start singing to make sure you're recording on the right track. I will never give up now you're all set. Some custom beats to your project. Here's how. Click Add New Track and choose Drums and Beats. On the Instrument tab, you can play the drums with your computer keyboard or an external MIDI device. Hit Record and start playing. On the Patterns tab, you can easily create a beat by clicking the squares. Each square represents one beat within a bar.
To remove a sound, click here. To add one, click here. You can change what kind of drum you want to use by clicking here. On the Piano Roll tab, you can edit and write the drum pattern. Click and drag a note to move it around. Use the Pencil tool to create a note. Click here to change drum kit. There's a lot of great kits to choose from. If you want to add effects, there's tons of them to choose from. We're pretty sure you'll find the sound you're looking for. You can create your own guitar or bass line using Soundtrap's virtual instruments. Add new track, choose guitar and bass, and make it sound like you play the instrument yourself. If you have your own guitar, just choose Guitar and Bass Amp instead. Choose your audio interface in the sound setup, and then you're ready to start jamming. To the project, just click the Collaboration tab in the studio, then Invite, and then add their name or email address. While working together on a project, you can also video and text chat. After you're done recording or editing, don't forget to click Save. That will make your changes visible for your collaborator. This is an easy way to make...